Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to give you a real quick demonstration on one of the new features coming to both the single player and multiplayer experiences. This will also work for any mod that wishes to, uh, you know, use the feature. Um, but that feature is going to be hot swappable text files or in-game reloading, uh, you know, whichever way you kind of prefer to think about that. Um, so with that said, as usual, if you guys are liking this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe, helps everybody out, and be sure to check out the video description below for links to our website, Discord, Patreon, and more. Um, so as I mentioned, this feature will be both for single player and multiplayer, um, however, you will need the latest version of D2R HUD if you're running things manually, or if you're using the launcher uh, like a lot of you are, then either of the latest launcher versions will work. Um, obviously, if you're reading this after the release of the video, um, anything 2.67 or later for D2R launch, and anything 1.4.4 or later for D2R LAN will get you all set up. Um, but with those, uh, you know, quick explanations out of the way, let's just jump right into the meat and potatoes of what we're talking about today. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to uh, open up one of our text files here. And you can see that uh, for demo purposes, uh, we're going to hop in game and take a look at the magic arrow skill. Um, and the stat that I want you to look at, again, for demo purposes, is the mana stolen per hit. Um, so currently it's just set to a flat uh, amount of 22, uh, regardless of what level it is. Again, just to kind of make this, you know, very straightforward to understand. And we're going to go and hop in game. We'll take a look at that tooltip and you can see uh, that, you know, it's currently set to 22 mana stolen per hit. Uh, so we'll wait for my little AMD pop-up to come up here. Should be in a second now. Oh, it's going to make a liar out of me, isn't it? All right. Well, anyways, uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and hover over that, and we can see mana stolen per hit is at plus 22. So uh, that's exactly what we wanted there. Um, again, just to show that that's what it's currently set to in the files. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head back to the main menu. Um, now, as many of you are familiar with, if you want to change something in the files, you got to close completely out of the game, uh, make your edits, and then you can reload back in. Um, with this reload system, you just won't have to do that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and change things. Let's say I'm changing it to 55 now instead of 22. I'm going to go ahead and save that file. And then I'm going to press Control R to reload my files. And you'll see we get a little confirmation message there. Um, it is important that you do that at the main menu. You cannot do this directly in game because it's still using those text files and stuff like that. Um, but if we go back to our uh, magic arrow, we can see that that mana stolen per hit is indeed 55. Um, so it went ahead and updated everything while we we're at that main menu. And then once more, I'm gonna go back and uh, we're gonna change it to something that might be a little more proper, like uh, let's say LN12 or something like that um, and we'll go ahead and reload so once more got our confirmation message I'm gonna go ahead and hop back into game and now we'll see that it's at plus 13 plus 14 it's doing its kind of level scaling as it would you know probably normally be in a mod um, so that is the kind of reload system um, pretty basic you know uh, in terms of what it does um, but pretty impactful for all of us modders who uh, waste a lot of time restarting the game a hundred times um, it'll just kind of be a lot faster now um, and then for you multiplayer um, you know, uh, lovers out there, it's going to be the same exact thing for you. Um, let's go ahead and just open up the mod files real quick. We'll show you this one in action as well. And we'll do the uh, same edit um, again. So, so uh, everything's apples. apples. Um, and then you can see what happens on multiplayer since multiplayer also has a loot filter and stuff. Um, so as you can see for Magic Arrow on multiplayer, it's currently set again to a flat 22 value for demo purposes. Um, so let's go ahead and get that game launched. And uh, once more, we'll just check the tooltip, see that, and go from there. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and hop on an Amazon. There's my AMD pop-up I was waiting for. All right, and so again, once more, we can see mana stolen per hit is indeed at 22. And so just like uh, in single player, we're going to hop back. We're going to go ahead and hit this to 44. We're going to save it. 
we're going to reload our files. We got the same confirmation message there. And then, last but not least, we'll check our skill. And there we go. We're at 44. Um, now, because this is a multiplayer um, and we have access to loot filters, if you press Control R in game, uh, that will act to reload your loot filter. And then, obviously, based on your loot filter, uh, you may get a custom. Uh, you know reloaded message and stuff like you see there um, but you know there's no negative impacts for doing it in game on multiplayer if you do that in game on single player currently you will crash um, so again main menu only um, and uh, just to be clear on multiplayer it does not reload the files um, it's just because loot filter also uses that hotkey um, for reloading the config um, it made everything just kind of nice and easy for that um, but anyways uh, that is the kind of bread and butter of everything uh, not much else to say there I hope that adds just a little bit more quality of life for all you modders out there um, I know you've wasted a lot of time waiting for that program to open and close so this should be uh, one big step for you in that regard uh, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye.